USA missed the 2018 World Cup out of an easy North and Central American region, CONCACAF, and let this continue to be a lesson for the future of American soccer. We must learn from this as a nation. Um, I hope this is a wake-up call which does not need to be sounded again. Let's hope it's enough of a shock to our system for us to finally come to our senses and to uh, finally align American soccer with the merit-based open system standard seen throughout 99% of the soccer world. You look at the vast potential that America has, a total population of 330 million people and you put that in perspective with great soccer nations around the world. So Uruguay, for example, has about 3.4 million people. So that means USA is about 100 times larger than Uruguay, a nation whose uh, top 16, top 8 type of national team in the uh, world stage and produces a player pool much better than what USA cur currently produces under its closed system conditions. A nation like uh, Holland, yes, they did miss the World Cup this year, but for the, uh, in the larger context, they are a World Cup contender, a threat to make it to the last four or to the final, uh, which they have over the last few cycles. They have a population of 17 million, which is, again, just a micro slice of USA's 330 million population. Uh, nations like Argentina or Spain, 45 million, which is less than one-sixth of USA's population. So the sheer potential of American soccer is amazing. And then you couple that with uh, the number one wealth and infrastructure in the world, which America has. And, and there are no missing ingredients. And you say, well, does America have soccer culture? Does it have the soccer players and fans? Of course it does. 24 million soccer players in America as of a 2006 FIFA census. And then um, you'd think with 24 million players, even if that's off by a couple of million, that's still an astounding figure. Let's say it was high by 5 million. You still, still have 19 million soccer players. That's bigger than the total Holland population I mentioned earlier. So, uh, the, the USA has all the ingredients, 24 million soccer players, and you, you'd figure 24 million or more soccer fans. I estimate somewhere between 30 and 60 million uh, soccer fans in America. Soccer is a big sport in America. It might even be the biggest sport in America if you pull all of America's soccer hotbeds together and the large metro areas the diverse population of America. There is a huge soccer culture in America that exists, but it's completely left out in the cold outside of the USA soccer domestic club competition. Only MLS is allowed in, and people who align with their business plan and who pay the franchise fees and are accepted into the business model can access USA Soccer Division One. So it's no wonder USA soccer flounders, why it can't produce quality players. Uh, why its clubs, well, its, its club teams, I call them clubs uh, loosely, because they aren't really clubs, MLS, or, or real clubs are independent and unlimited clubs that can go as far as their support and excellence can take them, and we're not allowed that in USA. Uh, it, it's just no wonder USA continues to uh, remain mired in mediocrity. And we look at all of this potential and you say, why can't we get there year after year? Well, simply because we refuse to align with the rest of the normal soccer worlds. Um, again, we have not, there are no missing pieces. We've got to end the myth that soccer is not a big sport in America and that we are handicapped for some reason. We aren't. The only thing that is stopping us is bad U.S. soccer governing policy, which can be changed in one single day. Just open the market and let everybody compete. Open competition, 
drives innovation in interest and investment into the American domestic soccer product. And when thousands of clubs have a chance to compete, all of a sudden you see clubs forming academies, investing into player development, coaching. Um, and from there you see your, uh, the quality of your player pool rise. So that's what the USA needs right now. One single policy change, if you distill everything down, that's what's really stopping major USA soccer progress. So if you like this video, make sure to share it out all across social media and also subscribe right here to my channel. And I'll talk to you soon.